Hello there, Ken Nokorob here, and we are back in the great outdoors, the wilderness, uh, shall we say, of our new in town survival let's play world. Uh, if you remember last episode, we spent a good chunk of time. We uh, built the blaze reactor, the last piece we need to complete our nether keep, and then we went up to the surface of the nether above the bedrock roof and look. What is that? Oh, fish. Uh, and uh, located the paradox box and opened it. And then to escape the bedrock ceiling, uh, we built another portal, uh, which is right around there, I think, somewhere like that. Uh, we flew a bit of ways away from it um, and uh, discovered that we are completely lost and don't know how to get back home. Um, so that is going to be the goal of this episode, is figuring out uh, a good system by which we can uh, figure out how to get home. Um, so, yeah, we kind of got a little bit stuck. Thankfully, it was the morning, um, and although we're using shaders, we can kind of tell sort of what direction we can... We can use a combination of things to figure out what direction to travel. Um, the where the sun rose and set... Oh, it's noon. Um, so where the sun rose and set, or will set, I believe it rose over in that direction and is going to set over in that direction. We know that our uh, in our town that uh, the... Uh, Floating Island is kind of right in the way of the sunset. Um, oh yeah, I can just barely see it moving compared to our crosshair. So it's moving that direction. That's where it's going to set. We know the Floating Island kind of overshadows the valley between our town and the swamp uh, during the sunset. Um, so we have a general sort of idea of what direction we ought to be traveling. Kind of, sort of, because we don't really know where we are relative to our town. And we're not going to use F3 to get back there. Um, so we know that. Uh, what else do we know? We know that there's an ocean right there, uh, and we also know that there's an ocean um, that is, uh, uh, I don't know what direction it is, but uh, there's the, our town, and then there's the valley, and then there's a swamp, and there's an ocean beyond that. Um, so one might think that perhaps across this ocean is where our town is, but I really don't think that's the case based on the position of the sun and also based on where the nether portal dropped us, because we're a little bit inland, uh, our nether portal. I can't see it from here. Um, and I don't think that if we, I don't think we traveled so far that if we built another portal, we would completely cross the ocean. I feel like we would have ended up underground beneath the ocean if uh, this were the direction to travel. So I don't think our town's over there. Um, I also don't think it's in that direction, again, because of the uh, direction of the sun. I don't have a lot really beyond that to make a, a strong argument for, so that could be completely the accurate direction and I have no basis for figuring that out. Um, so we're going to do one more thing to try and find our way home. We're going to go over here and uh, find this tree here. There we go. We're going to craft ourselves a workbench or a crafting table. So if you don't know, when you place down a crafting table, um, the no matter which direction you place it, the sides are always going to face the same direction, the side textures. So um, you see if I place it right here, I get these uh, little clippers or scissors on this side and clippers on my right side. But if I try to place it the opposite direction, I don't get that. I get the hammer and saw and the hammer and saw on my right side. Um, and if you know this and you know uh, which directions they face, then you can kind of figure out at least what directions you're traveling, not necessarily where you are. Uh, but what directions you are traveling. Uh, specifically, I know that the sides that have these little scissor things, um, that is in the positive X and Z direction. Uh, and the negative X and Z direction is going to be, of course, the saw and hammers. So under the very broad assumption that we are in the positive, positive quadrant of the world, and under, again, the broad assumption that our town is somewhat near zero, zero, uh, as would ought to be, as it probably is, because we didn't spawn near an ocean or so near an ocean that uh, our spawn point would have been moved due to oceans not being viable spawning locations. Our town is probably somewhere off in that direction. Um, so we're going to, we only have the one rocket left, of course, so we're going to try and get a pretty good start, I think, um, on the way back home. Ooh, we got to we gotta do some mending of that elytra. We're going to try and get a pretty good start of the way home off in that direction and hope that our deductions are accurate. Um, thankfully, we have explored a pretty wide area around our town uh, in various episodes. So once things start to look a little bit familiar, we should get an idea of if we were correct or not. And if things don't look familiar, 
um, then of course we either keep going or turn around. Um, unfortunately, I don't know that turning around is going to be an option. So this is going to be kind of a, the, the live or die episode, I think, of whether we actually are able to get home and continue this series or if uh, we're just going to kind of call it for now and do either season two uh, in 1.16 or maybe season two in the 1.17 snapshots or even just wait until 1.17 comes out all the way. Uh, during all this time, of course, we've been burning daylight, so we need to get a move on, uh, because ideally we don't want to travel too far uh, in the darkness. So, we have our ender chest, we have uh, shulker boxes of various things, we have plenty of materials to survive, but the goal right now is to get home. So let's try and do that as much as we can. Alright, get as much distance out of here as possible. Try to go off in this direction, towards the positive. Okay, there's a river, we've got a beach. So here's some ocean. So this is actually promising because we know... I think that there would have been ocean off sort of in this direction. Oop, relative to our town, vaguely. Yeah, I think so, because I think the sun sets in the ocean of our town. So hopefully it's going to be off in this direction and this is the ocean that is uh, off between the, uh, or after the swamp of our town. Um, in fact, it might be better and certainly safer to travel by boat, if that's the case, and just travel along the coast. Obviously, we have wood in our ender chest, but uh, there's no reason to necessarily pull that out right now. Uh, let's swap these, take this, and get going this way. All right. So hopefully that's the case and we'll be able to see swamp at some point. Um, if this landmass starts to curve, this may be kind of just a small sea, and we'll have to cross more land again. Uh, but we'll get a better idea of that further along the coast. Um, oh, oh, oh! What was that? Oh, it's dark now. Let me, let me see if I can get, get up here. Oh, man! That's the sandstone sundial! We know exact- oh, creepers! Oh, gosh! We know exactly where we are. Okay, we are gonna be fine, boys. We are safe and sound. We know exactly where we are and where we're going now. This is the sandstone sundial, one of the structures from New in Town that we've already accomplished and beaten and achieved. Um, and now we know, oh, there's the plains. Yep, and the swamp. We are we are basically home, boys. We are at the, uh, at the end of our journey. Uh, after it only just begun. <laughs> Uh, thank goodness we picked the right direction. I really like the workbench thing. Obviously accurate, but we had no we had no reason to believe, uh, no basis to suggest that we were in the positive direction. That was just kind of what what I was hoping for, uh, because I didn't know what else we were gonna do if we weren't. <laughs> uh, if we try to work towards zero zero, obviously if we we're already in the negative direction, we would just be getting farther from home. Um, but based on I didn't think that the sea was going to be. Uh, the direction that we came from, um, yeah, this uh, this was a, a very fortunate uh, orienteering uh, <laughs> based on very little information. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's head home. Let's go to sleep in our in our homestead, and then we'll go back to the Nether, uh, kind of fix our inventory up a bit, and um, we'll we'll visit the trophy room uh, and get the the rewards that we have now earned. So jump up here. And then we'll uh, reorganize. Well, we'll go to the Nether first because most of our stuff will be there still um, from before we went to the to the bedrock ceiling. All right, to the Nether, to our Nether fortress. Hop on in here. Oh boy! Okay, we are officially home, safe, successful in our journey. Let's unpack. Everything from our ender chest. I don't need that. I already have an ender chest right here. Um, so let's put this away. Uh, the workbench. <laughs> we have two now. Um, we've got some food here. Let's see. We got our wood and coal. We got to get more coal at some point. Maybe we'll do that this episode. Kind of wind down from our, our epic journey. <laughs> uh, okay. We got cobblestone there. I'm going to put the obsidian back in here because it's useful. I'm going to put the piece of infinity in here too. Uh, and the rest of this I can just kind of put away. Uh, those are, these are all blocks. Block, 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 block. Okay, so let's go to the nether keep, to our trophy room, 
and uh, earn our rewards. Hello there. So of course we still have the Emerald Block from when we got the Ender Throne advancement, uh, as well as the King of the Castle for having completed our castle. Uh, so the other two advancements are uh, the harsh exterior, which we now have, as well as what is this doing up here, which is right here. Now it doesn't matter which sign we pick, it's going to go ahead and give us all the advancements um, that we already have. So I could even click this one. We'll get the tone. Nothing, of course, happened here. But we got... Oh, I thought we got a harsh exterior. Did we not? Let's check our advancements. Ooh. Oh, we did not get a harsh exterior. That's interesting. Uh... Well, that's something I will uh, evidently have to fix. I thought that we were good. Uh, regardless, we have the, uh, what is this doing up here advancement? So that's another emerald block, which is super cool. We'll have to figure out what's up with harsh exterior. Um, we should have six. Trophy room. Obsidian pylon. Infernal court, that's three. Blaze reactor. Nether keep and pure hearth, that's four. Or that's six. Unless the nether keep doesn't count, although I thought it did. Uh, we could kill the blink one, I suppose. Um, I don't know if we have quite enough bricks to do that right now. Um, but yeah, maybe that's something we'll come back to. I would say, by and large, uh, for all intents and purposes, we have completed uh, the nether keep. The only thing that would be left to build is a blink keep, um, which we can do at some point. Uh, but I don't think we have to right now. Um, well, let's see how many bricks we have. What's it really going to cost us to try it? Oh, hi. I'd rather you didn't. There we go. Um, yeah, what's it really going to cost us in terms of time to, to give it a shot? So we're not quite there. Uh, let's see if we have any bricks chilling for us in here. I don't think we do. Oh, we do. Sweet. And some gold. And that might be just enough. Let's see. Oh. Alrighty. So we got that. And then... 64. Okay. So if it's 64 and then five nether bricks and eight gold. So where do we want our blank keep? It's obviously not very important. Um, so we can kind of have it wherever. Maybe as like a little balcony out from the infernal court. What's over here? There's no land right there. That should be a perfectly fine place to put it. So we've got our reinforced bricks. These here and then eight gold. No, that still doesn't give us the harsh exterior. That's interesting. I guess I'll have to check up on that. I really thought I tested that, but no problem. Easy fix, I'd imagine. Um, so with that, obviously, I think that uh, kind of makes us finished with uh, with another. Until I fix harsh exterior and, and uh, give us that advancement correctly, we're able to collect that reward, and then we'll come back to the trophy room and get the rest of the things that we've earned, um, or we will have earned. Uh, so the remainder of the advancements are Shining City for completing all the end city structures. That's going to take some time. Peace in the Kingdom isn't going to be super duper difficult, just time consuming. And then War Machine as well. Uh, and then a Harsh Exterior we know about. Um, but other things that we can do while we're doing that, or uh, instead of doing that, would be working on the custom structures uh, that we have for New in Town. So as I've mentioned before, uh, the New in Town community has... Uh, thanks to uh, my allowing and uh, providing template files for people to create custom structure packs. There are several available. Uh, since the beginning, I've been playing with one, although I haven't been using it uh, because it hasn't come up. Uh, the Harvest add-on by Victoria Ricky. And Victoria Ricky also has another one um, that's called a New in Town Quill add-on, um, which are some really cool structures. All these structures are really cool. Uh, and then there's several other uh, members of the community that have created other custom structure packs. Um, so I think probably starting next episode or at some point soon. Oh, hi there. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh, there's two of you. Okay. <laughs> um, at some point soon, uh, next couple episodes, I imagine we'll probably get started on on uh, building all these custom structures. Oh, so many skeletons. Jeez. Um, but uh, maybe this episode we'll get started. We'll take a look at what uh, what these structures have for us. Um, I think one of the first things we want to do is probably the um, rural cabin because it's going to have some uh, uh, farming plots for farming the um, like unique crops that uh, this pack adds in, which is really, really cool. Um, and it's also one of the least expensive things, which is nice. So maybe we'll get started on that. I think that's a good call. Um, so we'll need a building permit, of course, an iron hoe. Looks like three barrels, a white bed, shouldn't be too tough. Uh, not too many oak logs, 32 of them, looks like, uh, and then 16 stone, 
as well as two composters. Should be a nice and easy structure to get. Um, so let me eat my bread and go to the homestead and start building things up. Oh, I have these items here. I guess I'll just toss them in the ender chest for now. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to leave this ender chest here because I keep putting it down and I have a spare. So I'll just have this one in my inventory and the rest of this right here. Um, all right, let's put these bones away. We're going to have to get more coal at some point. Um, we may do that later this episode, depending on how long this uh, harvest add-on, uh, or this first harvest structure takes to make. So, like I said, we need a white bed. Uh, I'll probably need to find some sheep for that, but that's okay. Um, we need barrels, which I have some of. Excellent. Uh, what else do we need? We'll need the logs and stone, 32 and 16 respectively. We'll need a building permit, so actually I do want this gold out here. Uh, we need the composters, two composters, uh, and that should be... Oh, and the iron hoe. We've got iron right here, so let's make the iron hoe. There's that, and then we need composters, which will require... Uh, looks like quite a good amount of this... Yeah, we'll need one more. Uh, do, oh, do I have some in here? Mm, nope. Okay. That is all right. We'll just have some spares. Put that in there. So we have the two composters, three barrels. We'll need the uh, wool for white bed. And then uh, we'll need a building permit. Grab that from right here. And we need to find some sheeps. I believe they were over here. The white sheep near Ishtar, near Istar town. Probably should uh, get a collection going of some sheep so we don't have to keep running out here every time we need wool. But here's this young boy. Alrighty. One wool. Of course. <laughs> Alright, well, let's jump over to this guy and see if he's willing to be a little more forthcoming. Nope. One wool. Super duper cool. <laughs> uh, can we get one more? Can you eat some grass? Oh, I know you want some grass. Come on. Come on. Have some grass. It's delicious. Oh, you had some grass. Excellent. If you give me three, I'm going to be disappointed in you. Was that three? Yep. <laughs> of course it was three. That's all right. We have extra wool now, should we need it. And I'm sure we'll get more at some point. You still have the same things. Um, so let us get to work on uh, this structure. So we need eight stone. No, 16 stone. There we go. As well as 32 logs. Then it's going to be figuring out where we want to build. Uh, we'll need to craft the uh, bed real quick. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where we want to build. Get a bed here. Oh, put that away. Um, so let's see. Once we download the rest of the packs, we can make... Uh, we can get the aesthetic pack, which is the official uh, one created by me, which has some non-functional structures that are still useful, and it includes uh, unidirectional roads. So we can have kind of districts separated by roads. Um, but I think for the moment, we can have this rural cabin right here. I think that'll be a good spot for it. Uh, so let's put these together. Uh, oh, is it the iron hoe there? I think, yeah, the white bed goes there. Barrels and that, and then the stone. All righty. So here's our rural cabin. So he's got a farm owner with a funny head. Uh, gives us a harvest ticket. Interesting. Ooh, another use for rotten flesh. That's nice. Oh, and poisonous potatoes. That's interesting. 12 gold and 2 emeralds for a bloody rake. Oh, 40 attack damage. Oh, my gosh. We might have to get that. Uh, looks like it's probably only, okay, yeah, basically only one use. But, oh, my goodness. Uh, strawberry is a crop that is grown here. And we can turn it blue for a blueberry. That's funny. Uh, so these, are, I believe, are the farm plots, or maybe it's these. Oh, yep, okay. So we've got some lettuce growing, it looks like. It's not grown yet, and at some point, I imagine it will grow, and then we'll be able to collect it. Uh, we've got strawberries growing right here, okay. Uh, tomatoes. What's over here? we got some more tomatoes, all right. And some more lettuce, okay. So we've got some initial crops growing, which is pretty cool. If we come in here, is there anything special in here? Oh, a hoe. Uh, looks like there's nothing special about it. I'll just put it back. Uh, we got a smoker in here. There's a cute little kitchen area going on. Uh, is this another? Oh, it's like a closet. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's that's cute. I like this build a lot. 
got a birch sapling there. Uh, oh, I didn't want to set that respawn point. That's okay. Okay, so we've got our little uh, rural cabin here, which is going to be where we grow the crops that we'll use uh, as we expand with the uh, new in town harvest add-on. Um, I think we'll probably make largely this district or this area right here, the harvesting district. Um, which will include a few other things, the town market where we can sell, buy and sell various crops and uh, spices, I think, to make uh, new unique foods like hamburgers. Uh, shelter kitchen, I think, is also used for making different kinds of foods. And then the harvest altar is uh, like a goal for the pack. So all the foods that you uh, grow and cook and, and put together with all the various structures, um, you can sell them all to the harvest altar um, or, or sacrifice them or tribute them, however you want to call it, um, to get a unique uh, bonus effect, uh, which I actually don't know. I didn't explore that far. I know you have to like sell a whole bunch of all the different kinds of foods to uh, the harvest goddess that appears on the harvest altar. And when you do all of them, then she gives you some kind of effect. And I don't know what that is, so I'm excited to find out. Um, with that said, I think we'll probably call it for this episode. A bit of a shorter one uh, after our long one last episode. Um, I hope it was uh, interesting enough finding our way home. Obviously, it was a lot uh, quicker trip than I think we were expecting it to be, which is uh, good and bad, you know. Um, I'm glad that we didn't get completely lost, uh, but uh, a little bit of exploring would have been cool too, uh, if we found a cool structure on the way back or something like that. Uh, but regardless, I do hope that you enjoyed this episode of the New in Town Let's Play. If you did, please remember to leave a like and uh, share with your friends, and also consider subscribing so you can keep an eye on when new episodes come out as we continue to explore uh, structures created by the community. Um, I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed this episode. Like I said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.